exercise today's session is all about ankle stability so we're going to start with some banded exercises now you can tie these around a squat post or the bench like I have here and it's all about moving nice and slowly and trying to get the full range of motion in your ankle first we're going to work on ankle dorsiflexion which is bringing your toes towards your chin you're going to do 10 reps of each exercise and you're going to do it three times so the first round, you're going to do 10, bringing it vertically into your hips, the toes straight towards you. Then once you've done 10 of those, you're going to move so that you turn your foot outwards, so you're getting the outside of your ankle rotation there as well. Once you've done 10 of those, you're going to move on to an internal rotation. So this is going to be moving your toes and your ankle back in towards your body. So I'm using my right leg here, leg here, so I'm going to put it onto the left hand side. 10 reps of this and then remember you're doing three sets on each leg. Next up we're going to do some more banded work and this time we're going to be looking at plantar flexion. So what you want to do is you want to half your resistance band and put it under the heel of your foot. Okay. From here you're going to keep your leg out straight and you're going to point your toes down. This is the plantar flexion move, movement. You need 10 of each exercise and you're going to do three rounds. So first pointing straight down and then just as we did before you're going to point to the outside of your foot to get the rotation on your ankle. Try this on both sides. I'm going to move on to the strength focused part of the workout which is going to be calf raises. So for this you want to go to a medium heavy weight Hold onto something stable, tuck your opposite leg around your calf and you're going to raise up onto your toes, holding in that top position for two to three seconds before you go down. You want to make sure your core's nice and tight when you're doing this and you should feel this in your calf. Do eight repetitions on each leg and do three sets. Sometimes your gym might have a machine to help with calf raises. If it does, use this. If not, we're going to carry on with these single leg calf raises with a weight. Make sure the weight is in the same hand of, as the leg that you are working. then going to move on to the accessory exercises and these are all about ankle stability so I might look a bit silly here but it's all about keeping that ankle strong and your core engaged so to start off with you're going to do these around the well touches so I'm pointing my toe at the front to the side behind and then looping it back I'm going to do 15 repetitions on each leg and I'm going to do three sets of this in total you want to try not to let your foot be on the floor in between each point, okay? And you want to try and keep that left ankle stable, that's the ankle that we're working on here. Again, make sure your pelvis is tucked under and your core is nice and tight. Once you've done 15 on one side, move to the other leg. accessory exercise today is going to be a single leg deadlift so for this you want to make sure that your chest stays up throughout the movement and the leg that you are moving stays off the floor as well so I'm moving my left leg here which means that I should feel the pressure feel the tension on my right leg specifically down my hamstring now the reason that we're doing single leg is because today we are working on ankle stability so we want to make sure that we're using our unilateral strength to keep our ankles nice and stable. Your core should be nice and tight here and you should continue to have a flat back position. So if you find at any point that you are curving in your spine, you either need to make sure your chest is lifted or you need to not go down as far, but we want to aim to get parallel. Now that was the easy version. To make it a little bit harder, you can grab yourself a weight and you're gonna hold the weight in the opposite hand to the one that is being lifted so basically the straight leg your leg that's rounded and you're going to do exactly the same movement we're going to go down to the floor trying to keep that weight as close to our shin and our leg as possible keep that flat back and then come up this is significantly harder again you're going to do 15 reps of each and three sets good luck
this video, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's get netball strong.